The crew spent the night waiting in the Thai harbor for the ship from China. The freighter is brimful with wind turbines. The biggest transport in Thailand's history is about to start. 90 wind turbines have to be transported to Karat, 400 kilometers inland in the lush province of Nakhon Ratchasima in northeast Thailand. This is the biggest onshore wind energy project in Southeast Asia. For Siemens, it is its first project in Thailand for harnessing the wind. The trip will take around 14 hours from the starting to the destination. Each turbine is transported in nine components. A rotor blade weighs 12 tons and is 45 meters long. A truck loaded with a rotor blade then measures 60 meters. Off they go, already before dawn. A sparkling caravan, 180 meters long, wends its way through the town. The transport route has been surveyed and discussed to the last centimeter. Sections of road have been improved, replanned, and even changed. It's now time to clock up the kilometers. Take it easy under the bridge. Some part of the area that was uh, uh, going uphill and downhill, it, but just is around 20 kilometers of that part that uh, we need to be careful when we transport. This U-turn is the greatest challenge to all involved. It is slowed down and dies open. This slowdown applies particularly to the final 20 kilometers of the route. Here, it's hilly and passes through villages. The specially built access road to the wind turbine site had to be almost completely rebuilt because of the heavy rainfall. Use of the 72 square kilometer site required obtaining over 700 leases from the local ก็เอ่อสําหรับโปรเจกต์ <laughs> The whole team must really work hard, hand in hand, and do what's required at eye level. To cope with a sharp increase in overall power consumption, Thailand intends to cover 20% with renewable energy sources by 2022. This is similar to Germany. The wind turbine park Korat itself will meet 1.5% of Thailand's total power production capacity. The energy transition is catching on in Thailand as well.